just landed LAX Spirit Airlines having a good time. We're excited to play tomorrow, but we're heading to the studio now. It's gonna be awesome. What's up everybody? So we just landed in LAX and I'm headed over to the baggage claim. Gotta pick up my keyboard, my luggage. Yeah, we're gonna head over to the studio in Burbank, Speak Easy Studios, where we'll, we'll be recording an EP today. Writing session, studio session, uh, different things. Stay tuned, and yeah, see you later. Look who I just connected with. <laughs> we are on the, uh, what are we, what are we on? 105 East. 105 East, and of course we're about to hit traffic. It wouldn't be LA without the traffic. Yeah. But we, yeah, we're gonna do a studio session today, Speakeasy Studios, and we're gonna record. record. We got some songs on the line. Creative Pow Wow. Creative Pow Wow, yes. There you go. So, Melissa, how long have you been in LA so far? Uh, about a week, and I have another week after this. What's your favorite thing about LA? Not the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I love LA because it's just everything's here. A lot of my musician friends are here. Yep. Do a lot of writing sessions here. Because of that, I get to hang out with friends at the same time. So the vibes, yeah. Yeah. Darling, we belong. Distance only makes this love twice as strong. Over and over again, I fall in love like the first time. Fly away. There's so much of the world we have yet to see No one can stand between us It's just you and me in love Hey Melissa, I got a question for you Ask away um, <clears throat> What is your favorite song you've written and why? That is an unfair question Of all questions Top three, top three Okay, I would say Never Change is one Yes. Uh, Skyline is another one, and oh man. You gotta go into the vault a little bit, in the archives. I'll pick a newer one. Sure. sure. Um, the third one probably is I'm Honest. Yeah. So those are the three I would say, like at the moment. Mm -hmm. But Never Change seemed to be like the song that always ends up on that list because it meant a lot to me. Uh, and it still means a lot to me, uh, lyrically, and then chordally too, if you just look at it in a technical way. Mm. It's kind of an interesting chord progression. Yep, yep. But yeah, so I feel like it's a song that if I were to pick a song to just pass down to my kids for one, like one song, that's, that's the song. It's never changed. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So why don't you perform that more often? At least from my experiences, I don't really see you perform that song very often. It's because there's so many songs to choose from. <laughs> and um, Pick wisely, right? Mm -hmm. And also, too, it's like a balance of what people like to hear and all that. Mm -hmm. It has kind of the similar vibe as uh, See the Stars, and I always end up singing See the Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. for sure. That That's one of my favorite songs of yours. And I love that song, too. But if I were to choose between See the Stars and Never Change, I think on a very deep personal level, I would still pick Never Change. Never Change. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> into the heart and mind of Melissa Polinar. Yes. Into the pollination. Into the honeycomb. <laughs> honeycomb? I don't know. Brought to you by my guitar. <laughs> Artsy shots. Artsy shots. <laughs> you nasty. Where you can track all. The, that's where the grand piano is. Let's make it. Let's make it. How does he feel? Hi, Lou. Hey. How's it going? Good. I'm full. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Just had some bomb in and out. Flying Dutchman, Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> Still taste it on my lips. 
So, uh, after eight, nine hours here in the studio, we finally finished uh, three, tracks. Of, three tracks today, which is a, a, it's a pretty big accomplishment, you know, being that we only get to see each other for the shows, but we don't really get to sit down and work together and, and collaborate and share ideas like this. I'm definitely excited for uh, what's to come, even in our writing sessions and whatnot. How, how did you like today? Like, how was your experience Wait. today? It's fun! I always love being in the studio. It's like my little comfort zone. Yeah. So there it is. Studio B, I believe? Yeah. Studio B here at Speakeasy Burbank. Great place, great vibes, lovely staff, great booth, everything. It's awesome. Everything! Yee! It's a wrap!